Okay. Here we are again with Colorado Chris, showing you guys how to do a quick change. Yes, <laughs> we're going to do a quick Excellent. release. Excellent. Excellent. Changing it from the standard. First, you take it off, of course, get rid of the top nut. And then these two nuts will be locked together, so you need a flat wrench on the back one. And uh, what is it? I think the 11 16th on the top one. You twist them off, break it loose. Already done it over here, but that's so that you can, uh, it's not going to be left. There we go. Yeah, you get on camera, then it don't work. Huh? Am I on? Where's the camera? Like, You're good. Okay. So. So what size wrenches were there? Um, I don't know what size the flat one is, but the top, this one happens to be 11 sixteenths for us. They do vary. Um, does that have a size? No size. Looks like a nine sixteenth. Mm. Mm, that might be closer to a half. Or... It might be a half. No. Metric? Uh, Twelve. There we go. It's a half. So, so you need a half and preferably a thin one. Yeah, flat wrench. That way you can get between this okay this nut right here actually it's only flat on two sides and it's rounded the rest of the way and halfway down it's fully round the reason why you get this because these two will bind together and you gotta break them loose have the thin all right see how it fits yeah, just it's just got two perfect. sides on yeah and so the rest of it's round basically what I'm doing now is just taking these Outside nuts that hold it on to the bike itself. Yeah. And then this would be the bearing. Uh, actually, I don't even know what it's called, but it's, it sits down in the bearing race for the inside. Mm -hmm -hmm. Takes a minute. Probably better without that. Huh? Make it real careful not to drop it all. Because you might actually want the parts. Uh, okay, I see. These bearings are uh, not in. It's a race. All the bearings are held together usually in the cage. This isn't like that. So Literally sitting there loose? Yeah. So you need axle grease to hold them in place? Yep. Let me see. Yes, one moment. I don't want to get my Ric Flair t-shirt messed up. Hey, set that over there. Because uh, I'm styling and profiling. Side race? Yes. Because well, it needs to be done anyway. It to be never had the cage. It's got the retainer, which is still on the axle for the other side. Got your hand on the back side so it'll catch it if anything drops. Yep. Set the retainer. How many we got here? Seven it looks like. One, two, three, eight. There's a lot of grit in there. We're going to clean that out. Yeah. What do you need? Oh, I'm just counting bearings. That way I know what's going on. That part of it. Okay. Yeah. Worst part of the job, huh? Dirty hands. Dirty, dirty. Okay. Make sure there's no bearings down inside. I don't see anything. Didn't hear 
that's clear. other videos or whatever where you know, they have some nasty looking stuff and they go to clean it up and it comes back it's all sparkly you know? yeah. yeah somebody else spent a lot of time cleaning it up yeah or getting brand new stuff <laughs> that's nasty that's work for now you got one of your minions to do it yeah where are the minions here I'm my own minion okay Yeah, if he's at my house or like magnetic. Magnetic. Bottom of the platform. Well, I got that, those magnets that come off of the wind generators. Really? That's what's holding that kiss poster up with. I made the mistake of putting them together because my voice. You know, like, Dad, put them together, we got to see. You know, I, if you put two, both of them together, you can't. I had to take two trucks with a chain and put them apart. For real? Yeah, exactly. That's 600 pounds, like 300 pounds crazy. each. So I could go fishing with that, right? I guess. On so it's got a bolt on it. Put it on a rope, throw it in, drag it back, <laughs> whatever grab you got. Now, if we get anywhere near those wrenches, it'll be pink. Done. A little bit of a genius job, really. Normally, you use uh, some type of cleaner makes it easier. We're indoors. So, no cleaners. Get all the grid off of it. Yeah. Don't want that in the new greens. Don't want old greens in the new greens either. So here's a new axle. The hollow guy. Yeah. That's nice, isn't it? 
took those off and then blew it in. Okay, this nice and white package with Japanese or Chinese writing. Chinese writing. These houses with tilted roofs. Get mad at me if I said Japanese. I'm not Japanese, I'm Chinese. Uh oh. Do I look like Japanese? Sometimes. Sometimes. Well, y'all look alike to me. I'm sorry. Well, that's understandable. You still recording? You know, it's recording. I'm curious. larger than the top of it. Huh. So I'm not sure if that is big enough around. No. So no big deal. So these are hollow so you can hollow put the quick release through it. Cool. Yeah. Go ahead and take it off and go inside to your office job. Office job with stress. Yeah, nobody will steal your bike while you're in. What you got there, Jerry? Oh. You see how much that book is now? Uh -oh. The Witcher? How much is that? Are you kidding me? That's on the low side. That's on the low, low side? side? 628? Because of the TV series, he pointed it out earlier. Yeah. And then I finally looked at the price for it. I was like, wow. You ran into stuff like this, building, working on bicycles anyway. Just, uh, Usually good to have a bunch of parts around you. Yeah. Other bikes and such. And we're lucky that the old um, axle is so smooth, getting the nuts and stuff out of there. Usually they're rusty. Or banged up to where you... This, this bike was at a pawn shop. Nice. And they were happy to get rid of it because it's getting ready to be cold weather. Yeah. And they don't sell much bikes. They take up a lot of space in the stingrays, but it's worth it. Yeah, well, I got that cruiser too, so... Yeah. We gotta find you another chopper. Yeah. Maybe we should do a four-stroke. Show. Yeah. Mm. That'd be wild. You just go out there and crank it up with your hand. Boom. I'm gonna use the new bolts here. Or new nuts. The old bearing tuner. So we're using the old bearing retainers. Oh well, it, I guess that's the inner race, right? And, and retainer ring. So. Thank you. This is all new to me. Being what? behind the camera, but you can see the difference and the reason why we changed it, right? All right. So, from here, I guess I got uh, some grease over here. Fix something on the other side? Yeah. Cool. There's a little bit more. You got there. Yeah, we're not wasting it. Working on a pit crew status. Oh. Yeah, I think that's super quick tire change. There. Sweet. Yeah, we 
got to clean all these parts up, huh? Yeah. It's Street not. gum. It's all nasty. It'll be clean. Yeah, so. So it's just that little down bearings down in the grease. In that grease, so it don't move. Now, the way I did the grease is I got enough on there, and I just used my finger to kind of give it, because it's nice and rounded in the race. And my finger's coming through and just giving it, like, if there was a corner in there, that would be cool. And just enough to hold would be able to lubricate. Two, four, what did I say, eight? Eight. As long as you don't bang them, they should stay in place. That stuff is very sticky. <laughs> that's uh, Master Pro from uh, O'Reilly's red high temp disc brake. High temp disc brake. Wheel bearing grease. Wheel bearing grease. Nice. Brand new. Now, I'm putting my hand down here just in case we don't want. So you don't lose it. The new grease. Uh, Especially if it's dirty down there, it'd be yeah. hard to chase. Well, rolling around down there, it'd probably stick, but. Everything else is good too, actually. Let's not let Murphy's Law jump in the picture. Yeah. No. I thought it'd be appropriate to wear Tom Brady shirt, jersey, okay. because he lost yesterday. Okay, he lost. Was that the ball? You know, him and his wife mm -hmm. are worth like a half a billion dollars. Half a billion? Five hundred million. Uh, I just put four. That's six. Two to go. Eight. All nice and in there, yeah. So I've got insert at the bottom. This is that hollow. Yeah. See how it's hollow all the way through? I think it truthfully we'd probably put a little bit of that wheel bearing grease in there and underneath the ring right here, see? I'll come back and talk a little bit of what I was thinking right there. You know, you so it's on the right top inside there. that groove. Yeah, why not? It's not gonna hurt anything. And there we go. That's beautiful. That's so that we're not dry up there. The other side should probably be done the same. I haven't actually done this in quite some time, so... Well, we're not looking for perfection. Oh, no. This is fun. trying to get it centered as much as I can visually. Old.
shows. Got it right here. Because I want a real thin half inch. Yeah. A super thin half inch. Now what I'm trying to do is you don't want it sloppy but you don't want it tight. So Right there, that's pretty sloppy. You can hear that. So, tighten it up just a little bit. No, a little bit more. Not bad. Right there is too tight. So, not bad is where we're going. Get real thin on the top inch. Put 11 sixteenths on the outside. Yeah. What we're doing is we're locking these together so that the axle not, or they, they don't back off and everything get loose. That would be bad going down the road. Yeah. The front tire. Loose enough your bearings and they go bad and burn up or something. I did that one time. I, I saw a, a tree limb had pushed a pavement up. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm going to hit that with my bike and pop a wheelie. So I did. I popped a wheelie and the wheel stayed, came off of the forks. Oh, no. So as I came down, I knew I was going to crash. <laughs> yeah. I crashed. I skimped my chin like nobody. Ate it good, huh? Yeah, I didn't see anybody see me, but I'm sure they were snickering and falling down on the ground. Somewhere. I jumped up and that, that front wheel kept rolling. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a great experience for me as a kid because we were raised in dirt road country, you know, Deer, Arkansas, up there by Jasper. And uh, that was in Conway where they had paved roads. They're like, ooh, I can go fast. Yeah. It was crazy good. First time on pavement. The wind was blowing through my hair without having to go downhill. Uh, nice. <laughs> wow. Or you had to push it up the hill because there's such steep hills over that way. Yeah. I remember one time I went to go put, uh, well, I had one me go to the store to get something. It's a convenience store there in Deer, home of the Deer Antlers. And he sent me, I was like, I'll go up there. He says, no, walk. Don't take your bike. I took my bike anyway. Ice and snow. Ice and snow. That was not a good idea. Really? It was okay yeah. on the dirt road, but when I get the paved road, which is about a mile, I fit, spent more time on the ground than I did on the bike seat. More time on the ground? Yeah, because it was a tall bike. Yeah. I could barely get one leg or the other, so when I was pedaling, you, your wheels would get, it was so icy, the wheels would uh, be doing all this. Crash! <laughs> But on the on the dirt road, it wasn't that near as bad. You had some traction on there. Gravel. Gravel, yeah. Let's see. Which way is the pattern going? You're but going back then, I could take four, five, six crashes in a row and not really think anything of it. Yeah, just bounce back and do another. Yeah. Now, well, hopefully, if I fall, you didn't do it. things will fall off of me. Yeah. <laughs> have to look and see what fell off. My wallet, my phone. Nice. This is gonna work out fine. Yeah. Uh, first time I went snowboarding up in Monarch Mountain. It's in Monarch, on Monarch Mountain in Colorado. Uh, I haven't been, it's my first time riding, so I didn't know about carving to keep your uh, speed down. I'm just like shooting straight yeah, down the wow, mountain. Wow, no wonder everybody likes this. Yeah, I was shooting straight down the mountain. Everybody's like, slow down, slow down. And, uh, I'm watching and people are like sitting down and they're stopping. So I sat down and I had what they call a yard sale. It's where like my uh, gloves, my helmet, like everything Came that up. wasn't attached just went everywhere. It's like strip poker on snow. Uh, quick. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> everywhere. Let's see. So I was. I think the you almost did a Sonny Bono way. where he died hitting the tree. Really? Yeah. No way. That would suck. That's how Sonny Bono died. Senator or Congressman Sonny Bono. Um, yeah, that was Going through trees and he hit a tree. Palm Springs, right? That was after being a mayor in Palm Springs. I don't remember where it was. Mm. Where he got hurt. Right. Or more than hurt. You get an attitude adjustment for sure. Now these guys here, they kind of fill that gap right there. So we got to transfer these from the old axle to this. So it's, it's just that much space, which is really all we need for what we're doing. So I want to cap 
up on the outside of the door here. And then close the other one. And then on the cap on the outside. Through. Yep. So now we're sliding that quick release through all the points. Side, we got a spring and well, that on there. We got the spring, which small side in, large side out, and this will screw down on there. It's got grips, which will grip to the fork, actually to this thing here as well. I wonder if that's going to grip here. Maybe I should put these over to grip it in and that'll still grip the fork. Inside or out, I'm going to put them on the inside. Yeah, that one's going to be turned over? Yeah, it will. I'm going to have to take it apart and put the bottom one. I should have thought it would be first, but ooh. It's a bad place to have a loose nut. Yeah. <laughs> Falling. So that ring is going to be turned the other way. Yeah, so it'll be retaining on the inside so we have the exterior light on the outside of the wall. Right. I do believe that should be... Come on, go ahead. Thank you. Yeah. So, we're going on opposite of what it was before. Now, that'll grip. Still small side of your spring inward. So that large part is going to go up in there. So the larger part's sticking out. Yeah. If you went backwards with it, the reason why it would slip right through. Yeah, you would munch it. It would just eat it up when you screw it all down. So this way right here, it actually gives it small part of the spring down. Yeah, it'll actually let you push it. because it's it's when it goes down, it'll flare out a little bit. And that'll go inside the, the dish area, I guess you could call it. So, long winded. You also, um, can take your tire off real fast. Oh, yeah. These are great. Lots of it. Tune in. Oh, no. Mick is making problems. It's kind of got Mick here. About that. How long this is, and we're going to cut this off after it gets. Yeah, we can cut it off. Or do you believe no? What in the world? Let me see. Do you have to go to the back? In there. Okay. Sometimes you run into things, you know? Because I almost want to say they gave you the wrong number for one. The other lever goes here and there. Is that the back one? Yeah, so that'd be the back one. Um, so is this going to have enough dreads to go down? It should. It just seems like there's a whole bunch sticking out. No, it's not going to have enough dread. So that may be the long one. Maybe. Well, the, wide, the back rim is wider. That is true. Um, Actually, I think they're the same. The same? And if they are, I, I go around to the house and see if I've got one that's shorter, if it's all threaded, or more threads towards the center. I do have a couple. Like I was telling uh, Tim, uh, I was telling him, uh, if you asked me about how long I thought this would take, I said I could probably do it in 20, do it meticulously about 30 minutes, but there's usually something. So, let's see here. That's what you're saying. Yeah, you're not supposed to go for the rear. Okay. So we gotta go to your house and get it? Yeah. I put all this here so it's still together. Big post. 